Hey, it's Magenta here for our final round of the Hackaday Prize update. Reviewing your submissions for this challenge proved to be incredibly fun. From hacked Game Boys to audio controlled neon to synthesizer fashion accessories, you guys really brought your creativity. Let's start with this Atari 2600 drum machine. This submission consists of a program and built hardware interface that turned an Atari VCS into a MIDI capable drum machine. This next submission speaks to the 90s nostalgia in all of us. This Game Boy was transformed into a ukulele body that can be used as a MIDI instrument with Bluetooth connectivity and chiptune sound for new music experiences. But this wasn't the only Game Boy hack we saw. This next hacker asked the question, let's make a playable instrument that sounds like the THX Deep Note and let's do it on an experimental handheld game console, cause why not? Now let's check out this Teensy Beats Shield. An all-in-one made-to-hack step sequencer built around the Teensy platform with LiPo charging, touch TFT, encoders, buttons, and RGB LEDs. This next project proves you really can't go wrong with Neon. This real-time, audio-controlled Neon system encodes and reads music in MIDI format and controls the flashing of a Neon sign with minimal latency. And now, for our grand finale. How can we not be obsessed with this blinking buckle of a synthesizer that puts the stylus in stylish? This stylus-based monophonic music synthesizer is built into a giant light-up trucker belt buckle. Stylish is designed to hasten the effort of rocking out, to make it happen quickly and painlessly at any time, at any place. The prize may be wrapping up, but the updates don't stop now. Check out the link in the description for more updates on our super conference and all the amazing programming we're bringing to the table.